Hello buddies, welcome back to Kebersway Tech. This is Harsha. There is a lot of confusion between students to use which websites based on their ranks such as US News or QS World Rankings or any other website which is available online. I was in the same state a few months back as I didn't know which website to use perfectly for shortlisting my universities. I have consulted many seniors, my peers and even people who are staying in US, that is US residents, since they will have some idea about the education system based rankings over there. If you are also on the same page, then watching this video is a 100% right choice of yours as I'll be giving a complete idea about which website uses what criteria to differentiate the universities and give their ranks. So without any further delay, let's get into the video and to the main point of this video. The first website which is very famous and widely used by every student is US News Ranking. First, let us understand how US News differentiates the colleges that is based on which criteria as this is the first fundamental step. 25% of the criteria is given for research reputation and further this 25% is divided into regional research reputation and global research reputation of each 12.5% and 12.5%. So this research reputation is done from a period of 5 years. So if the US News publishes a rank in 2022, they are considering the research reputation of the college from 2016. The main difference between global and regional is that global research reputation is based on the other university's opinion across the world. Whereas regional research reputation is measuring academic opinions of other universities within their region. They claim that this is uh, one of the unique feature used only by them. 10% is given for the publications from the universities such as scholarly papers, reviews, articles, etc. So the above 25% which I mentioned is for the quality and popularity of the research among the universities. And this 10% which I mentioned is for the number of research papers published. And the next 2.5% is for the books, 2.5% is for conferences published and 10% for normalized citation impact. This is the total number of citations per paper irrespective of the university size. And the next 7.5% is given for the total citations. 12.5% for the number of publications that are among the top 10% and 10% for the percentage of total publications among the top 10%. And the final 10% is for international collaborations. This indicator is the institution's total paper that contain international co-authors. This is about the US News rankings. Let's come to the next most browsed website for rankings that is QS World Rankings. Even for this website, we have to go from the fundamental step that is the differentiating criteria. So 40% is for academic reputation, 10% is for employer reputation, 20% is for faculty student ratio, 20% is for citations per faculty, 10% is for international faculty and 10% is for international students. So this is the following criteria used by QS World Rankings. Now let's get to the next website that is the Forbes website. They rank their colleges according to 20% alumni salary, 15% student loan debt, 15% ROI that is return of investment, 15% graduation rate, 15% Forbes American Leaders List which means how many people made it to Forbes from these universities. 10% retention rate, 10% of academic success. In this 10% of academic success, 5% is for students who got reputed scholarships and 5% is for students who went on to pursue PhD. The next website which I'm going to mention is not that famous but one of my senior recommended to me. It's called csrankings.org. I know you're uh, about to pause the video and write it down. That's not needed now since I'll list out all the websites in the description below so you can go and check it out later. For this website there is no specific criteria as this website is totally based on the research output. You can see on the screen as I'll be displaying it. As you can see this bar graph it's given topic wise research works 
for example if you go to carnegie mellon university and if you click on the blue arrow it will show the research papers published in the fields like artificial intelligence computer vision machine learning natural language processing high performance computing and many other domains so finally coming to an end which website should you use or which website did i use to shortlist my universities you should consider looking into all website as each of this website has some unique feature according to them if you look at the us news rankings it has a regional research reputation uh, which you cannot find in other websites if you look at qs world ranking they have their criteria based on faculty student ratio again it's not available in us news or forbes or even cs rankings if you look at forbes they have their criteria based on debt they have also included alumni salary and mainly return of investment i guess uh, these criteria are very useful for people who are opting for loan as even i will be opting for loan because i cannot uh, afford that huge fees and when you look at uh, the csrankings.org they have a cute little colorful bar graphs and even topic wise division of research papers which you cannot find on other websites so my verdict is to look into all websites as they have a highly valuable information so after looking into them you have to compile all the information and based on this information you have to shortlist your universities so don't just rely on a single website and don't just rely only on these four websites because these are the website which only i have an idea about so if you also have an idea about any other websites please mention below in the comment section as it will be useful for me or people who are going for spring or fall 2023 or even people who are still under the process of fall 2022 so that's it for this video guys like this video even if it was 1% useful for you people and subscribing to the channel is 100% mandatory as you have no other option and comment below your favorite websites which you are using for shortlisting this universities and many people have been sending dms on instagram whether i have received any decisions i have not even received single decision i don't know why because i was actually thinking that i'll be receiving asu decision this week but i don't know i have not got any decision many of my friends who have applied during the same period like the first and second weeks of november they got their decisions but i still didn't get my decision i don't know what to do even if i mail to the university it will be just waste because they won't reply to the mails regarding the intake or the admission process so still i'm waiting for my decision maybe by this month and i may get asu so uh, when it comes to sunny buffalo i have a small update that on jan 18th uh, it my status my application status changed from awaiting departmental review to under departmental review and i think this process is random since many of my friends applied on the same date still their application status is awaiting under departmental review i think they are selecting students randomly so don't get tense even your application status will be changed so nothing to worry and as soon as i get any decision i'll make a video and one more small point is that uh, i have reached a milestone which i have set i think that's not huge for you people but for me it's a very huge i have reached a 500 subscriber count and it's all because of your support in this 2022 it's a fresh start for me also i even i'll be making videos and you also show your constant support to me soon we'll be reaching 1k 10k and 100k also there's a lot more to achieve so that's it for this video guys take care get your booster doses so wear masks bye bye see you in the next one